Scholar, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is vlog day number two for the week. I'm going to be sharing with you how I prep for my uh, market pop up shop this Friday. Sorry, this Saturday, um, July 15th, from 1 to 5 p.m. at Lakewood Mall in the city of Lakewood. I believe it says behind jo Trader Joe's in the parking lot. So I'm going to be prepping. I'm going to be hanging the, which I already did, but I'm going to show you some more. Put the hang tags on the uh, boho bags, as well as uh, tags on my coin purses and pull some of my inventory and put my new business cards on those and price those as well. And I picked up some um, more uh, clothes, clothing racks. I have this one, but I don't like the fact that it's on some wheels so and it's station it doesn't have a lock on it. So I picked up, picked up two more uh, clothing racks. I'll similar those, show you how I do those and uh, hang up some of my uh, inventory, like I said, price them, and as well as um, I bought some more a mannequin torso. So I'm going to show you the new ones because the first ones I had it wasn't really up to to standards. So I really have anything to compare with, but I bought some more, so I'm going to show you the difference. So let's get started. Okay, so the way that I actually uh, hang the hung the hang tags for the uh, boho bags. This is the I have one left. So I'm going to show you. Go ahead and take it out of the package, of course. Simple. I'm finally open it already. Alright. Take it out of the pack. I inspect it. Make sure it's good quality. In place. Uh, check the pockets. Make sure nothing's in the pockets. Unzip it. Zipper. Nothing's inside, and I have some this like of uh, paper that they included in the box of the mannequin. So I cut these down to size. I'm gonna use these to stuff the back. Go ahead and zip it up. Stuff it out a little bit. Give it a little definition. Let's go ahead and hang one up. Little hooks, S hooks. I purchased from Amazon. I'll put that in the description box below. Go ahead and hang it. All right. And then I'm going to add the price tag. This is a price tag that I purchased from like a discount store. It comes price and label swing tags 40 in a pack. I'm going to attach it with these loops. Pins. I purchased this from Amazon. I'll leave it in the description box below. These are uh, three inches. So I take the uh, loop pin and the price tag and just loop the the loop pin between the price tag like that. And then attach it to the zipper. I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can take a look. Let's see. A little closer. <laughs> so just take this off so you can see it better. So there's the zipper. Gotta push it through there. Put it through the hole. And pull it through. Now it's nice and secure. Alright, cool. That's how I did all these uh, price tags from here. To make sure the price tag is hanging in the front. Now go ahead and put the price on it. So that's how I put the price tags for my boho bags and then I'm going to show you how I did the um, price tag for my coin purses so here's all the uh, coin purses um, lined up and price tags on all of them and they're stuffed um, so my partner he actually helped me he put all the price tags on the uh, coin purses but I'm the one stuffed them so let me just go ahead and turn the camera around so you can see how I do that so basically what I did, as you see, this is the, the condition that it came in with their price, with their uh, label on it, so, of the vendor, so I cut that off. And they had stuffing in there, to me it's not puffy enough, so I took their stuffing out as well. And so I'm going to add my own price tag, tag period, just pull one out. And basically what I'll do is um, 
put the string through the loop and put the uh, open it up <laughs> simple of course put the tag through the loop pull it attach and then I cut some foam board I had down to size let's put it inside and nice and cushioned there you have it so this is another one that was already done So these are the ones that I just did. So I add them back to the collection. It's like five in a row. One, two, three, four, five. It's actually six in a row. So one thing I do when I'm like crafting or going to uh, different stores, I usually buy things that I see in the future that I'm going to be maybe using. So I actually purchased these little baskets maybe about three years ago. I never used them, so it's going to come in handy with this. Actually, I have six. I'm only going to use four. So I still have... Uh, one two three four five six different designs these are four different designs of butterflies these are the lower price ones and these are the daisies and these are the daisies with the felt these are a little higher price so and then also i'm going to put like a little riser in the back to uh raise it up so let's go over to the other station